Welcome to PlayStation News, Rumors and Leaks. Let's take a look at what's been happening over the last few days in the world of gaming. Guys, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button, strap yourselves in and let's get cracking. Last week it was reported that some unlucky PlayStation players had quite the scare with their accounts being banned permanently without any explanation as to what they did to deserve the permanent ban. However, Sony has been reversing these bans as quickly as users were being banned. But it's doing this without giving players a reason as to why their accounts were banned in the first place. Really strange and bizarre. There's been no word from Sony on why these bans happened in the first place. What if any new policies players need to be aware of to avoid the bans, or if this was just a bug in the system? There's no communication whatsoever. The lack of communication and the no comments from Sony has left players concerned as to the stability of their accounts and of the PlayStation Network. And if Sony is doing anything to make sure this doesn't happen again, we just don't know as players. At the very least, players' accounts are being restored, which is great, but it doesn't remove the shock that some players definitely faced when learning that for seemingly no reason their accounts were gone from the system. It's a terrible thing when this does happen, but at least Sony is fixing it, but at the very least they need to get out there and tell people paying their hard earned money who spend their money on Sony's storefront and buy Sony owned digital media or Sony physical media to use on the console. Sony needs to tell the players what the hell's going on. We need communication from them so we know what to look out for. Come on Sony, sort it out. Tell us what's going on. Moving on, God of War Ragnarok is getting a free DLC. This was revealed during the Game Awards with a new roguelike inspired DLC titled Valhalla. God of War Ragnarok DLC Valhalla will be available to download for the PS5 and the PS4 on December the 12th, hopefully the day this video is going out. There were rumblings that Sony Santa Monica were working on DLC for Ragnarok for quite some time. So this announcement doesn't come too much out of the blue. We knew the DLC was going to happen, but what is a shock is that it's available on the 12th and that the DLC is completely free. This is a really great gesture from Sony and from Santa Monica Studios. The new DLC is set after the decisive battle against Odin and Atreus departure. Kratos has seen a path for himself that he never thought possible before. Kratos is brought to the mysterious shores of Valhalla. Kratos will enter its unknown depths to overcome trials within himself and face echoes of his past. What is interesting though is that this makes two PlayStation Studios single player games adding roguelike modes within the span of a month. Since The Last of Us Part 2 Remastered will add the no return roguelike mode on release. Roguelikes are definitely very popular, but there's also many of them out there that are more than just a new mode added onto an already complete single player title. Nonetheless, it's still great to see that these great single player AAA games get new DLC and new modes for players and fans to enjoy the games once more, bringing the combat in both games even more into the spotlight. A great way to, I suppose, start the festive period by playing the God of War new DLC and then after the what what is it it's coming out in January right going into just after New Year we're playing the uh, Last of Us Part 2 remastered and a couple of new modes so fantastic great stuff to look forward to uh, if you like the video so far or find the video interesting or informative then do me a favor guys and hit that like and subscribe button that will really help out the video a great deal and if you want to support me as a content creator then consider becoming a channel member I'll leave a link down below in the description on becoming a channel member and be sure to check that out. Okay, moving on. The Black Myth Wukong game got a new trailer at the Game Awards that showed off what looks like some epic new gameplay. The game also has a release date. The game is coming out on August the 20th, 2024. In what was another jam-packed trailer for Wukong, we got a glimpse of what looks like more than just a few huge set pieces and big moments players will experience in this story inspired by the fictional classic journey to the West Tale. If this really is what the final game looks like, then Wukong could very well be one of the best looking action games to come to the console, certainly over the last decade or so. Of course, there's also the question of how well will the game play, what the controls look like and what does leveling up and the ability to move on you know, all those kind of things that help you progress through the game. Visually though, the game looks stunning and I can't wait to get my hands on it. The Black Myth Wukong trailer confirmed what many fans already suspected. 
Wukong will only be playable on current gen platforms, meaning that if you want to experience the game on a PlayStation, you need to have a PS5. Really excited for this one, guys. I can't wait to play it. The fact that it's only supporting current gen consoles is great too, meaning that it shouldn't be held back by previous old gen hardware and specs. So really exciting, can't wait to play that game. Probably end up streaming it or uploading videos on the channel. Let me know your thoughts on Wukong. Um, is anyone else excited for this game? I mean, it looked absolutely stunning from what I can see and you can see it playing in the background. So yeah, let me know your thoughts. Moving on to our final piece, Team Ninja's long-awaited Rise of the Ronin will launch on March the 22nd, 2024 for the PS5. The company announced during a new trailer at this year's Game Awards. While Rise of the Ronin was originally announced back in 2022, the game itself has been in development for seven years or so. It's actually quite phenomenal. Seven years. And it's collaboration between Team Ninja and Sony XDev Studios. The game is about you embarking on an epic journey across war-torn 19th century Japan in this combat-focused open-world action RPG from Team Ninja, the veteran studio behind Neo, Neo or Neo, Neo, I think it is, right? Neo and Ninja Gaiden. Japan 1863, after three centuries of the Tokugawa Shogunati's oppressive rule. Hope I pronounced that correctly. I don't want to butcher anyone's name. The black ships of the West descend upon the nation's borders and the country falls into a state of turmoil. Amidst the chaos of war, disease and political unrest, a nameless warrior forges their own path holding the very fate of Japan in their hands. It sounds brilliant. Can't wait to get into this game. I want to get back into a world similar to Ghost of Tsushima, so I'm really looking forward to Rise of the Ronin. Let me know your comments. What do you think about this game? What do you think about topics discussed in today's video? That's going to do it for the video, guys. Thank you for watching. If you do me a favor, whilst you're here, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button, and I'll catch you on the next PlayStation news, rumors, and leaks video.